in time, Dr. Castillo. How'd you know it was me? You have a very distinctive cologne. Huh. Too strong? No, actually, it's very pleasant. Have a seat. I'm not in trouble, am I? I know that my bedside manner is a bit unorthodox. Well, I don't think that the female patients are complaining very much. I haven't worked in a hospital like yours in a long time. I'm used to just doing the surgery in the mouth. Well, there's a lot to be said for seeing a patient all the way through. Which is why I'd like to offer you a more permanent role at the hospital. I mean, now that you're going to be in town, I don't see any reason not to take advantage of your talents. I'm sure there are some doctors here who'd rather that the hospital didn't take advantage. You're talking about Jake. He's not a huge fan. But he's a professional. And it's over. Whatever happened with you and Jake's ex, it's got nothing to do with his life now. I didn't know what to think when I first came to your hospital. I mean, I got punched in the face on my first visit. The blind chief of staff, I'm sure, didn't feel you with confidence either. You run a great place, Dr. Hubbard. It's just not my thing. Once I've done what I promised Zach, my work on the Miranda Center, then I'm out. Where to next? Who knows? I'll let the rest of the world fight it out. You know, I've heard stories about you and your success in the field and the lives that you've saved. You ever stop to take a breath? I breathe. I'm not sure you do. Trying to save the world is admirable, but saving it one person at a time is not so bad either. I gotta get back to the hospital. Oh, please, don't get up. I have a car waiting for me outside, and I've got this place down packed. I'd be happy to scrub in some surgeries. I like that. Hey. Hey. How's your mom? Oh, she's still singing the praises of uh, Dr. Delicious. <laughs> you and Angie. Is that about business? <clears throat> yeah, I just turned down a full-time position at VPH. Really? Why is that? Pine Valley a little too sleepy for you? I gotta get back out in the field. Really? Tell me something, what is it about cholera, dysentery, and being shot at that's so compelling? I mean, it makes people so hinky to get back there. Jake was exactly the same way. He said when he got home, he felt like he didn't belong in the real world anymore. Boy, he seems to have adjusted pretty well. Yeah, but it certainly took him long enough. Whatever happens over there must be something. It really got in his blood. I had a hard time giving it up. Yeah, but this is his home now. Yeah. Well, just out of curiosity, where's yours? All over. First it was Mexico, then came to the States when I was a kid. Now I, I go when I have to go. Hmm. And what about the rest of your family? What about them? I'm sorry. I apologize. It's just a force of habit. I guess it's my way of saying that I tend to be a little overly protective of mine. I'm just sitting here wondering if when you do take off, whether or not you're going to take Kara with you. It's just that you and, you know, you and Jake and, and Kara all express the same kind of dedication, and obviously spending time in a little burg as dull as this one must be kind of hard for people that excel in critical situations. And yet, you and Kara show up right around the same time. I mean, you, you got to wonder, right? If you think I, I'm, I've got some secret agenda, you're wasting your time. So you really are on just a goodwill mission for the yeah. Miranda Center. Yeah, yeah. I'm all about goodwill. And the fact that uh, the guy that whisked my brother's ex-wife away from him shows up in the same town at the same time in the same hotel with adjacent rooms with her 
is just pure coincidence. What, what difference does it make? You know, Kara and I will be long gone soon enough. Oh, so you are leaving again. We'll see. Okay. Cool. You going back to Mexico? If they need me there. Hmm. You know, I did some um, some work there not too long ago. Really beautiful country. Uh -huh. Yeah, I doubt you were anywhere near Juarez. <laughs> Juarez? You're kidding. You're from Juarez? Yeah, a few miles away. Huh. It's not so beautiful. Drug dealers run the streets. And you'd come back with a lot more than a bandaged hand if you came back at all. Yeah, it's probably true. Sounds like hell, I'm sorry. I can understand why you'd want to get back to help them, you know, if I could make some kind of contribution oh, to the cause. Oh, brother, if you're trying to bribe me to get Kara to get out of here, you don't have to worry about it. Kara can't stay in one place for too long. If I know her like I do, she'll be on the next plane out of here. Do you know why I was called down here? Oh, I believe it's because the readings on David's monitor are yielding some unusual readings. Unusual how? Well, come inside. I'll show you. He doesn't seem any different. Well, looks can be deceiving. Since you came into the room, his heart rate is elevated. Is he still in a coma? He is. And there's no telling when he'll come out of it. But something is definitely going on in there. Do you have no idea what caused his heart rate to elevate? No. Uh, could be an involuntary response. Or he might be waking up. He might be aware that I'm, that I'm in here. That's very possible. Okay, so now that I'm here, what am I supposed to do? Hospitals obligated to alert next of kin when there's been any change that may result in that happening. I gotta go check on another patient. Are you there? Can you hear me? I just came from seeing Kendall. She can barely look at me. I am trying with everything in me to put you and the lie that was our marriage behind me. But know that I never really can because of Zach. Because of what happened to him, I will never, never be free of you. Is that what you wanted? Is that what you're trying to tell me by making your heart go faster? Are you trying to tell me that I'll never be able to walk away from you? That you'll never let me go? I saw his finger move. Does it show that he's waking up? Well, it might have seemed like a, a big step, but medically, there's been no change. I'm telling you, it was a reaction to what I was saying. His finger moved as if as if he heard me. Then I'd watch what I say, Rob. You don't want to give him any extra ammo if he wakes up. Be a better person, David. If you wake up from this, be a better person. Hey, thanks for coming. Can I get you one of these? How long have you been drinking? What's going on? Oh, God. You were right. Coming here. Big mistake. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, this is something big. You never admit when I'm right. <laughs> Jake knows. Knows what? How? Um, 
Tad, he went through your wallet and he saw a photo of us together, so he did some digging, and, well, you don't need to worry about getting beaten up for stealing Jake's wife anymore. Okay, so... Jake knows you're my sister. What did you tell him about why you left him? I said I wanted out of the marriage. Wow. I want to get out of here. Okay, okay. I know this isn't easy for you. I wish that I could go with you. I hate thinking about you being alone. No, no, come on, don't. I'll be fine. I don't think so. You know what? You don't need to treat me like a little girl anymore. <laughs> I'm your older brother. That's my job. Yeah, to protect me. Yes? But you know what? I'm tired of it. Okay, I'm tired. I'm tired of you protecting me and the rest of the family. You're treating me like I'm this glass doll. You know who didn't do that? Jake. Jake didn't do that. And he would never think... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got it. I got it. Um, yeah, this is she. Um, I'm sorry, but that's, that's impossible. Okay, well, I filled out the necessary paperwork. Okay, that would be great. Thank you. What is it? I, that was, uh, that was DWB. There's some kind of, like, problem with my, my paperwork. Like, it's an immigration issue. Well, what, does that mean you can't leave tonight? <sighs> God, this just gets better and better.